Good evening, everybody. Happy Sunday. Buckeye Piper here. I love this blend. So smoky. Smoky as in smoke produced and smoke taste. I'm smoking my Northwoods BCA mixture, my Buckeye blend. I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world that's ever mixed BCA and, and, uh, and uh, Northwoods. It doesn't take rocket science to know that that might be a good combination. But smoking it in my 307 St. Patrick's Day pipe. I think you might be able to catch a little bit of the bird's eye today. Usually I smoke this at night. This has become my English pipe. I love this thing, man. I love how it sits in my mouth. I love how I can just, I just love everything about this pipe. I'm going to have to get me a few more 307s. I'm not the biggest Peterson guy out there. But this thing smokes very well, and I enjoy it. I get an hour or longer out of the bowl. It's got the standard system in it, which I don't know. You know, that's debatable whether that works or not. It gurgles a little bit because of the bend. Not much. But, man, it will smoke. Even for relights like that, I just like how it sets. So this might be a pipe I get some more of. Isn't it funny how we all are different in life and like different things? And What tickles one person's fancy may not tickle another person's fancy. So, McAllen 12. Man, when you take that Macallan 12, especially drinking it, this is a perfect pairing, I will tell you. Because the smokiness of the Northwoods really brings out that sweetness in that Macallan. And it tastes like super honey. Vanilla, honey, vanilla, sweet, just fantastic scotch. So, usually don't drink on a work night. Been a little stressed today with the whole house buying situation so i thought i'd have one to kind of chill out a little bit so for those of you that have followed my last couple videos yeah mrs buckeye and i found a house we enjoyed it liked it a lot a few little things we didn't like about some wallpaper some different cosmetic things we could change um some linoleum that needed replaced not a big deal we initially asked for concessions when we called in what we were thinking of doing, the selling the seller's agent said, well, they've already got some good offers without without that. So we took concessions off. Then they called and said, well, we got some above listing offers now. So we ended up going above listing, which didn't want to do. Didn't know they had multiple offers when we went to view it. That's a pet peeve of mine. I, I don't know why it should be. I guess if I... I guess here, let me say it like this. If I know when I go to view the house that there's multiple offers on it already, I'm okay with that if I know going in. That way I could determine do I want to go above asking or whatever the case may be. If I find out while I'm there, oh yeah, we've got some more offers. I, that, I don't like that. I don't like that. So. So anyhow, we liked it. It had a great, great yard and a great extra storage shed, almost a full garage. But we were at the top end of our price point that we wanted to spend because this is not our last house, nor is it our dream house. So I struggle to spend top end of price point when it's not your last or dream. And it needed a lot of things. It would need refrigerator. It would, like I said, it would need some linoleum, maybe some carpet in a few spots. The landscaping was gorgeous, and, and the outside was great, and, and it was sitting on an acre. The neighborhood was phenomenal, so, you know, we kind of changed our mindset of maybe we need to calm down and look at something in the lower ends, even if that means we put the sweat equity in to get our money back out, really, and, and not flip a house per se, but, you know, buy a house that may need a kitchen remodel done or something like that. Mrs. Buckeye is awesome with that kind of stuff and I know a few things so we can we can remodel kitchens we can put down flooring we can do all that stuff so paint I can't tell you how many houses we've painted 
we've painted the hell out of some houses. So, but with the due diligence thing today, we just, that was it, man. We, we, we withdrew our offer. We withdrew our offer. We both talked about it. I slept like crap last night. Just wasn't happy with being, you know, because I'm one that's like, unless I know, I have paid over asking once because I knew there was going to be multiple offers on the house and they were going to take them. They were up front with everybody before any showing. We're going to have multiple offers. It's going to be highest and best. Make your best offer. And that, that's fine. Um, great. I still think you should press your daggone house a little bit better to where... You price it to get, and I know it's a slippery slope, right? I know you don't want to price it too much higher because, you know, if you, if you, let's say you have a $250,000 house and you think you can get 265 and you price it at 265 and nobody comes, then everybody gets that stigma about, well, it's been on the MLS for 30 days. What's wrong with it? See me, I don't care that it's been on the MLS for 30 days. I kind of look for houses like that because that tells me, number one, there may be something wrong with it, which I'll find in the inspection. But number two, it tells me it may be overpriced a little bit and there's some wiggle room. There's some wiggle room for concessions and negotiating, which I love. Um, or it could be other factors. It could be just, you know, we've seen one today we really like. It just doesn't have a garage, you know. So... I'm thinking we're going to go something smaller instead of going 25, 2600 square foot. We're probably going to get back down into the 18, 2000. Truth be told, we could probably live in 1500 square feet and be very happy. I mean, that was what I had when I lived in Illinois by myself, and there would be plenty of room for, for Mrs. Buckeye and I in that house. Plenty of room. And, uh, you know, 24, 2600 square feet. It's great if you have kids, but when it's just you, your wife, and two dogs, it gets to be a lot. Like, we were talking last night, the master in the house we were going to put the offer on was on the downstairs, which was great. Everything else was on the upstairs, the other three bedrooms and the, and the other full bath. We would have never, hardly ever, have went upstairs. We just wouldn't have. The living room's downstairs, the master's downstairs, the kitchen, the dining room. The laundry was downstairs. There, would, uh, there, there wouldn't have been a call unless we made an office up there. To do that. So, anyhow, we're still on the hunt, still looking. I appreciate everybody's comments today. I, that's what I love about this community. I tell Mrs. Buckeye all the time is... is it's nice to be able to put something out there and get feedback. Like, I wanted to know, am I crazy? Am I the crazy one here for not knowing about due diligence money? I never heard of this stuff. A lot of feedback saying, hell no, I'd never do it, wouldn't do it either. And, and we're not. I, I'm just flat out. I've already told my real estate agent, any offer we put in will not have due diligence money attached to it. It's just not going to. Number one, if I put in an offer, I'm very, very serious, you know. If I need to show that by, by making the earnest money a couple thousand or three thousand, fine, I'll do that. Um, but I'm not going to give the seller a thousand dollars that they're just going to take off the price of the house that doesn't even come back to closing costs. That's ridiculous. And then if something goes wrong with the house, I don't know what's wrong with the house until I have it inspected. If I get it inspected and it's got radon or mold or, and, and I don't want to deal with the remediation or all that crap, and I want to withdraw my offer, they keep my money? Hell no. Hell no. That's what earnest money in my mind is for. Is everything's okay, it checks out. Now all of a sudden you want to back out as a buyer. That's where the earnest money is. Okay, they took their house off the market for two or three weeks for you to have it inspected and do everything else. Um, but you know, you didn't go through with it, you lose your earnest money. 100% agree with that, and I'm fine with that. But I don't care if you, you know, if I've got a contract with you on the house and you want to still show the house and take other offers in case the contract falls through, I am A-OK -okay with that. 
because I'm not going to get out of the contract unless there's something wrong. But if there's something wrong, I want out of the contract and I want my money back. I don't want you to take a thousand of my dollars. Anyhow, folks, thanks for listening. Northwoods and BCA, give it a shot. And it, it pairs so well with this McAllen. Mm. Man, that is so sweet. You just get that honey. That really sweet. Um, McAllen 12 needs no introduction. Everybody knows about McAllen 12 if you drink scotch. It's, it's one of the big boys. Pretty easy going scotch, so... Anyhow, I'm rambled. Going to try to put this up on uh, using my, uh, I think it's my internet connection. Uh, I don't think it's the best for whatever. We can watch movies. We can download, stream. Everything else is great. But for whatever reason, I can't upload anything. And I think it may be on my end. Because I uploaded with my phone today. And it went through a lot faster. So I'm going to try to use my phone as a hotspot and upload this. So if you see this video tonight, know that that worked. And if you stuck around for... 11 and a half minutes know that that worked coming up on 400 subs thinking about putting together a golf for 400 so maybe something to come this week on that but hey just want to let you know i appreciate everybody appreciate all you guys and gals out there appreciated everybody that took time to comment on my video today and kind of give me your two cents about um due diligence money and that means a lot to me and that's why i love this community is we can bounce ideas even if they're not even pipe related we can bounce ideas off of each other and uh and kind of you know check ourselves to see if if we're thinking right you know i, I love to do that and even at work i tell my team that is hey if i'm missing something here if if, if i'm off base tell me um you know just want to make sure we do it right. So if I was crazy on that due diligence money, you know, y'all could have told me, but everybody was like, hell no. And I was hell no. Mrs. Buckeye was F no. So I had to talk her down off the ledge. She had a, was going to fight somebody, I thought. But oh well. That's what you get when you marry into an aggressive family with an aggressive wife. She's not really aggressive. I'm just joshing you tonight. So anyhow, everybody, have a great night. Y'all uh, take care of yourself. Be safe out there. Take care of one another. Pay it forward whenever you can. Take care of somebody in the YTPC. Send them a surprise. Send them a shock. Send them something. Doesn't have to be big. Heck, it could be just a little card. And it'll, that makes people's day. So pass it on. Pass it forward. Be safe. Wishing y'all the blessings in the world. We'll catch you next time.